welcome back to another episode of cooking with lissa today i have another simple recipe for you guys i'm gonna be showing y'all how i make my collard greens so for this recipe you're gonna need two pounds of collard greens i'm using the ones that are already cut just because i don't got time to be cutting them but if you want to cut them just cut two pounds of collard greens you're gonna need a ham steak and this is a eight ounce ham steak you don't need a bunch of ham because we ain't making ham and greens it's just for flavor you're gonna need one small white or yellow onion one green bell pepper and then this is optional but i want some color so i'm gonna put a little bit of carrot in mine chicken bouillon chicken powder black pepper, cayenne pepper, white sugar, and then you're gonna need a little bit of vinegar. I'm using white vinegar for mine, but you can use apple cider or something too. And lastly, a little bit of hot sauce. You wanna use something that tastes kinda like Louisiana or something like that for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up my ham steak. So for me, I just cut it down in the little strips like this. And then just cut them so it's like some little cubes of flavor. I mean, you don't need a ton of ham up in here. You just wanna know it's there. So, yeah. All right, y'all, so little, little cubes of ham. Make sure you have a pot that will be big enough to fit all of your um, collard greens in. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of oil, just like a tablespoon of oil. Not a tablespoon, like a teaspoon. And we're going to take up our cut up ham steak. Up and all I'm going to do is fry this up for a little bit just to get a little brown action. And then um, I'm gonna come back and show you the next step. Ham is browned up and off camera, Lord, off camera, I went ahead and cut up my carrot, a whole small onion and a whole bell pepper, y'all. And we're gonna add that in there. bit of salt just a little bit and then I'm gonna put a little bit of um, black pepper actually I like, I like black pepper so fry it up I'm just gonna fry this for about one more minute y'all and I'm gonna come back and show you next step So at this point, you wanna make sure that your heat is on like medium. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my chicken powder or chicken bouillon. If you have the cubes, you can just use a couple cubes. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few spoonfuls of this bouillon in here. For some flavor. And in this bowl, I have two cups of water two cups of water in now so we're just gonna stir that around and now we're gonna come in with our um, collard greens so this is a um, one pound bag and this pot obviously is only gonna fit one pound right now because of the space that it took up so what I do is, I mean, unless you got a pot that's gonna be big enough to fit all this, I put one bag of green in here. All 
right. It's all gonna fit, don't worry. So, yeah. just pack the greens in the pot. And then I'm gonna cover it. And we're just gonna let this cook for about three minutes, three or four minutes. And then it should wilt down enough for us to be able to put our second bag of greens up in there. Three minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and, as you can see, it's a little manageable now. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these around a little bit to help with the wilting process. So just bring all the greens from the bottom to the top. As you can see, those have started to wilt a little bit. So, I'm just going to cover these again, and we're going to wilt them for a few more minutes, y'all. Now, we're going to go ahead and add in our second bag. So, our greens have wilted. I'm going to go ahead and press it down as much as I can. And then, okay. Pack it, pack it right on in the pot, y'all. Bad, y'all. But anyways, after you pack your pot with your greens, just go ahead and cover it up. And I'm going to cook this for about two and a half hours. And we're going to come back and check it periodically. <clears throat> so, it's been about 15 minutes. And after my greens have started to, like, cook, I like to go ahead and then add in my last little bit of seasonings and stuff so i'm just gonna toss this up i'm not gonna put any salt in it yet i don't like to add um too much salt until you know i know that the greens are fully cooked because you don't want to put too much seasoning and then it'd be too salty or something so just don't put no salt yet so i'm gonna put some cayenne pepper Cause I like a little spice in my greens. And then I'm also just going to put a little more black pepper because I like black pepper a lot. And this is basically what I do to season my greens, y'all. I don't really put no bunch of seasoning because it don't need a bunch of seasoning. So, at this point, the um, water has started to evaporate as well so i'm gonna just go ahead and put another two cups of water in here but you don't want to put too much water like i gradually put the water in here because i don't like that big old watery pot of greens so i'm just gonna put yeah y'all so i'm gonna put two more cups of water and I just gradually add water. So once this evaporates, I'll probably add another cup of water or another couple cups of water. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up and we're going to continue to boil this. Like I said, you want to make sure you're checking on this periodically, but we're going to boil it for about two and a half hours. And if the water goes down, just add another couple cups of water. But you just don't want it to be like collard green soup because that's not right. So it's been about two hours and we are now in the final countdown till it's time to eat these things. So at this point, it's okay to go ahead and add in your seasonings because we know that these greens are, you know, pretty much done. But you don't want to add them before that because you don't know how much seasoning necessarily you're going to need. Now, I tasted these. And they don't need no salt, y'all. All I added was that little bit of chicken bouillon powder and that little bit of salt you see me put on the um, onion and stuff at the beginning. But this don't need no salt. If you like, you can add a little more. I know that I want a little more ground black pepper up in here. So I'm going to put a generous amount of that because this is flavor. Flavor town right here. Okay. Now... The secret ingredients are white sugar, and I only got like a tablespoon and a half of that. 
and some white vinegar y'all and i'm not gonna put all this i'm gonna just pour a little bit that's like a tablespoon and a half and we're gonna mix this together just to see because i don't like my greens to be super uh super tangy but you need some of that tang in there for it to be good so mm, it's smelling good y'all it's smelling good I'm going to go ahead and taste this real quick just to see. But like, if you don't like your green super tangy or you want some extra tang to them, just add a little more vinegar or a little less vinegar. Mm, that's good. All right. Mm. Last thing is the hot sauce, y'all. This is important for me because it just adds a flavor profile to it that I'm used to. So I just put a few dashes of that up in there and I decided I am going to go ahead and add that last little bit of vinegar. So this is about uh, two and a half tablespoons of vinegar in total and a tablespoon and a half of sugar. Now the sugar is to help neutralize the uh, vinegar a little bit because don't nobody want no sweet greens. But yeah y'all, so this is what we have. I'm going to go ahead and cover this back up and we're gonna let this cook for the remaining 30 minutes just to like get everything nice and um tender i mean it's already tender but i like my greens cooked a little longer so it's been two hours and 30 minutes and my collard greens are to my liking if you want to you can go ahead and boil it for maybe another 30 minutes or so but yeah y'all I'm going to um, just let this simmer until the rest of my food's done. And I'm going to come back and taste it for y'all. All right, y'all. So this is the end result of my collard greens. As you can see, I went ahead and made me a whole meal. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and taste these for y'all. And try to get mm, everything. like i said i cooked these for a total of two hours and 30 minutes just make sure you uh cook it on low heat mm -hmm. mm. yes y'all mm -mm -mm. i love collard greens and these is good so if you like collard greens and you don't really know how to make collard greens I suggest you try out this recipe. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next episode of Cooking Melissa.